hello everyone in this session we will discuss about the next problem the problem is gh of s equal 1 by s into s minus 1 so you have to careful about this here just observe here this is the open loop transfer function but the pole is s minus 1 is equal to 0 that means s equal to pole s equal 1 that means the system is unstable system pole in right hand side pole is in right hand side so whenever you are dealing with the right hand side poles so you have to care for so first the given model just convert into the frequency model so g h of j omega equal 1 by j omega j omega minus 1 and first what is the magnitude value here the magnitude value equal 1 by this is the omega omega and this is the omega square plus 1 omega square plus 1 and what about phase so phase value just this is j omega directly we know that this is the so this is very important model look at here this is plus 90 and whenever you are dealing with this is the tan inverse of omega by minus 1 omega by minus 1 so this is not tan inverse of omega by minus 1 we should convert this tan inverse of omega by minus 1 is like this this is 1 by 90 uh, we should convert into like this this is 180 minus tan inverse of omega by minus omega by 1 whenever if you want to remove this minus 1 then it will become 180 minus how just observe here just observe here for example we have this is the real this is the real and this is the imaginary this is the real and this is the imaginary so we have for example we have 1 plus s 1 plus s means this path because 1 is somewhere here plus 1j is somewhere here and what about 1 minus 1 plus s minus 1 plus s look at here so minus 1 is here plus 1 is here that means the pole must and should be this region the pole must and should be this region this region means it must and should be this angle is less than 180 degrees less than 180 degrees if the angle is in here if the angle is in here so this angle is become phi here phase is become phi but here the phase is become 180 minus phi for this if the point is here that means for example this is the minus 1 and the minus j minus 1 and the minus j so or minus yes then this is how can we write 270 minus 5 and what about this what about this for example if we here this is the 1 and this is the minus s 1 minus s then we can write 0 minus 5 0 minus 5 that's why every time you have to check the given is positive or negative here he given negative means that's why it will it will have lot of change so finally the phase is like this the phase value is 90 minus 180 it will become minus 270 plus 270 plus tan inverse of omega tan inverse of omega when we are converted into then it will become so this is a plus 270 180 minus 90 so this is the plus 90 or minus 90 actually it is so when we are converting this so this is a plus actually not minus actually this is the plus angle is here outside here that's why it is plus so this is become 90 plus 180 it will become the 270 and this is minus tan inverse of omega minus tan inverse of omega so if you are modify this plus 270 is become the minus 270 and minus tan inverse will become the 
plus tan inverse of omega plus tan inverse of omega so this is the phase so somewhat difficult that's why minus 270 plus tan inverse of omega okay this is for the phase of the given system and this is for the magnitude for the given system this is for the magnitude for the given system okay so now we will find out magnitude and phase at zero frequency and infinite frequency at zero frequency so substitute this substitute zero here and zero plus one one by zero it will become infinite so the magnitude at zero is infinite what about phase phase at zero the substitute zero here minus 270 plus zero zero here tan zero that 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 is it will become minus 270 it will become minus 270 what about frequency equal infinite so at infinite frequency here just substitute 1 by infinite out of infinite square plus 1 so 1 by infinite the magnitude is become the 0 so at infinite it is become the 0 what about phase phase at infinite look at here substitute here infinite minus 270 infinite that become 90 minus 270 plus 90 it will become minus 180 so minus 180 so for frequency equal 0 we have infinity at an angle of minus 270 and frequency equal infinite we have 0 at an angle of minus 180 this is infinity at an angle of minus 270 this is the 0 at an angle of minus 180 okay so what is the next thing next thing is you have to find out the ending direction ending direction is zero phase minus infinity phase what is zero phase zero phase is minus 270 and infinity phase is the minus 180 then it will become minus 90 minus 90 means the negative so it shows negative negative means so the plot must and should have a anti-clockwise direction what about starting direction so in order to find out the starting direction just observe here just observe here just write down the open loop transfer function the open loop transfer function gh of s equal to 1 by s into s minus 1 1 by s into s minus 1 just observe here this is not valid but look at here s equal minus 1 generally we should have left hand side poles but we don't have any left hand side pole so generally so we don't have left hand side pole here right hand side pole is there left hand side pole so starting direction is not exist so it is not exist is not possible to exist so it doesn't have exist in the thing it doesn't have exist so directly without using the starting direction directly we will draw the polar plot here so now draw the polar plot here the polar plot first the real axis and next is the imaginary axis this is the imaginary axis and first you should do the ending ending direction and ending pole at omega equal infinite the magnitude 0 at an angle of minus 180 so it is the 0 generally so at omega equal to infinity it will become 0 and it will come from the minus 180 and starting it is minus 270 so that what is the direction there direction is ending direction is anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise direction means what will have so it is 180 this is 180 anti clockwise direction means what we should have so this is the reverse direction should be reversed if it is clockwise if it in this mode so this is about it is entering into minus 180 okay it is entering into the minus 180 and yes the direction is the 
anti clockwise this is the direction and what is the coming direction so it is minus 270 it is minus 270 it doesn't give the starting direction this is minus 270 means we have two cases the first case is the first case is like this so it may be come from minus 270 means it may be come from here and it will come here just a direction is like this it will come from here and ending with here and so starting from maybe we can assume for omega equals 0 and the direction is the anti-clockwise direction so here the direction is the anti-clockwise direction so this is the anti-clockwise direction this is the one point and another possibility what is the another possibility maybe maybe this is the another possibility maybe it will come from this side it will come from this side and touch with at this point and it, it will end it it will end it this is the another possibility this is the another possibility but it will become clockwise direction what is the problem here it is anti-clockwise direction it is the clockwise direction look at here okay so maybe this is the possibility this is the another possibility so check it which one is correct this is the one curve this is the second curve okay if it is anti-clockwise it is possible the second clockwise will represents clockwise direction check which one is correct so that's why that's why we should follow one procedure the procedure is like this here two plots are possible this is the first plot and this is the second plot to check which is valid second plot touch an imaginary axis first plus do doesn't touch anything but second plot is touches here the imaginary axis at minus 270 by finding frequency at minus 270 just you find the frequency at minus 270 that's fine so second plot touch at minus 270 okay so we will check by finding by finding frequency what is the value of frequency at minus 270 so that's why we are finding the phase equal generally what is the phase value phase this is the formula minus 270 plus tan inverse of omega the phase value equal to minus 270 plus tan inverse of omega what is what is it but what is the value the phase is already given at minus 270 that's why just substitute minus 270 and minus 270 plus tan inverse of omega so both are cancelled so what is our requirement here the zero equal tan inverse of omega by one tan inverse of omega by one what about omega from this we will find out omega equal to tan zero tan zero what is the tan zero generally tan zero is zero but omega equal zero is radian per second so just observe here but omega is zero look at here it start from omega equals 0 initially start from somewhere infinity magnitude but it shows here also omega equals 0 omega equals 0 here omega equals 0 it will continuing but whenever it touch the imaginary axis it will give some angle of minus 270 and it shows the frequency is omega equals 0 that's why the second plot here we can tell one thing two frequencies are not possible two frequencies is not possible so that's why that's why second plot is not valid is not valid we can tell the first curve is the valid first curve is the valid okay because here we are starting frequency 0 and it shows us a frequency 0 that's why the second plot is not validated first plot is the correct that means it will have the clockwise it is anti-clockwise direction it is not the clockwise direction okay so this is the model 
whenever he giving such type of different problem okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you